So my initial idea for starting today's video was going to be to like basically play the clips of me unboxing the Red Magic 7, but I lost the file on my computer, so we're just going to wing it. I got the box it came with, and I just figured I'd go ahead and show this off because it's pretty cool. They obviously put a lot of time into the design of the box, and I don't know, it just looks pretty sick. It's got like some comic designs and maybe some anime weeb stuff all over it, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to appreciate. And after watching a lot of people unbox this, I now realize that inside of this is actually a case, which I had no idea. So late, we got a case now for the Red Magic. I'll be honest, I probably won't actually use this though, just because I really like the design of the phone itself. I don't know if you guys can tell here, but I actually went with the transparent back for this phone just because I thought it was the most unique and it would look the coolest being able to actually see the parts of the phone itself. You can see the motherboard, the Snapdragon, and even the fan, which definitely I think is another like talking point about this device because it literally has a fan built into it. Look at this, 2000 RPM turbo fan with RGB. I can say that this fan definitely works as well because I played COD Mobile for like two hours and at no point did I even feel like the phone was getting hot. But yeah, this thing is an absolute tank, man. 165 hertz gaming screen, which is, to my knowledge, the most that any phone on the market currently has. You've got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which is, again, as far as I know, the fastest on the market right now. And then because it is a Red Magic device, it does have the two air triggers on the side of the phone, which you can program to touch any part of the screen. That way, if you're someone who's not comfortable doing four finger claw on touch screen, you can literally press those two buttons and just add two more fingers to your setup. It definitely gives you a competitive edge. This thing's an absolute beast. By far my favorite gaming phone on the market at the moment. And I'm not just saying that, like legit, this is the best gaming phone I've ever used. I gotta give it up to Red Magic. Huge shout out to them for sending me the device early and sponsoring today's video as well. But even if it wasn't a video sponsor and I had this device, I'd be saying the same things to you guys. This thing's an absolute tank. All right, ranked match. First ever ranked match on the Red Magic. First ever ranked match with the new Kilo. Dude, it's weird seeing shadows and stuff in game because I normally don't play on high graphics. I play on medium, so this is strange. I didn't get the kill there, but that was a beam. Fifty. Oh, come on. Beam that player, dude. I'll spawn up in front of me. Did like no movement there. Yeah, yeah, we broke the ladder. Jesus. I'm probably spawning over here now. Maybe there's a guy who just went up top. Okay, good. Put that trip mine down. There's a guy way back there. I mean, for my first ever game on the device, dude, we're kind of popping off. I think that's a, a good way to, like really determine how good the device is it's just how easily i can transfer over to it without that guy ah he didn't drop his cbr oh yeah he did whatever they gotta start spawning out over here yeah yeah shoot Oh, dang, man. That guy spawned right on me, but he had uh, his blade out. Dude, imagine we nuked first game on with this thing. Obviously, I'm still having some like little hiccups here and there, just trying to work out my sensitivities and find a good balance for the device, but... Oh, I'm sad. Feels good. Kinetic fight there. I had plenty of ammo with the kilo though, I totally could have used it. I 
I'm playing aggressive too. Like I'm not trying to hide and just get easy gunfights. Challenging what I can. It's another swarm. Got like three players pushing here. Got this, baby. Come back, season. Oh, he's got kinetic, but we locked onto him. Spray those guys off real quick. Nice teammate. You're popping off, brother. I love this thing, dude. Ah, uh, shoot, that orbital laser's cutting me off. If our teammate contests, he's the goat. He just died. Dang, we really lost because of that orbital laser. I'm surprised they didn't uh, nerf those things. That was not a bad, like, first game on, though, testing out that thing. I mean, regardless of the fact that we lost, look at those stats we just put up. That was a good game. Enemy has Charlie. Enemy contact. I got just said, you know what? I'm going to run with my, my knife out. I hear the footsteps. Oh, he was going up. You drop? I hear him on the stairs. Ooh. For me, my biggest struggle when transferring to phone is playing with tap ADS because I usually play hold. So I tend to like misclick my, my tap button a lot. That's another bad guy. Shout out thermites. I thought we left those back behind in 21, but apparently not. You went up? Actually, yeah, let's get this bike up. I'm making sure we win this game. Can you hop that? Okay, nice. Side note, by the way, this kilo is insane. There's gonna be another guy right here. Oh, or one spawning behind me. I heard that guy coming from a mile away. They've got to be spawning at this little crate. Oh, nice. I oh, mean, we got in front of us here. Three. Okay, good. <laughs> Saved by the bell, dude. this. This guy's still here? Definitely got behind me. Uh, yeah, I'm running away from this canine unit. Oh, no. My freaking A, dude. Oh, he was there? He was standing just behind me. Just watching me dance around him. One more in this corner. I'm not gonna fall for that guy again. Um. Okay, I live. We got him sort of cut off. It's a grenade. Yep, this is my flag now. Nice try, nice try, nice try. Oh, they spawned up on me. I got the cap, though. I got the cap. This is where we get B? Okay. They push C. Dang. They both pushed the flag, too. Oh, my. Oh, I thought I saved it. We have A, though. Wait, maybe I did save it. Yeah, three. We got this. That's the dub, baby. Oh, let's go. That was a tough game, dude. 
Oh, we were losing that one for sure. Why do I look so small in this camera? All right, here's the deal. Since that last clip you guys just saw on the live stream, I had gone out for a couple of hours, came back after doing some stuff, and I'm here to get a freaking nuke. We were getting so close during our live stream, I know I can do it, so I wanted to hop back on and see if we can close out today's gameplay with a nuke on the phone. Like, I'm feeling solid on the device, and the kilo is an absolute beam. I, I think we're just, like, a couple of games away from making it happen. Might even mess around and do it here on my first game back. I basically just chase people down and around this entire start of the match. I will say my biggest downside when it comes to playing on phone is the fact that I use tap to ADS, and I'm so used to using hold. I think I actually talked about it a little bit uh, in the last game that we used in this video. It's just definitely something I need to adjust to because I get stuck in uh, ADS. Where are my shots going? There's one guy. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, dude, that would have been such a good kill to get. Definitely trying to take advantage of the Kilo's ability to kill at range. That was a beam. Enemy in sight. Target in sight. Target in sight. Uh, I'll take that. I do have my kinetic now, so we'll go ahead and pop that and push forward. Enemy. Perfect. Swarm. I gotta fall back. They're gonna start spawning really close. I do only have 50 shots left, but I got the advance, so... Put that into this guy. Yeah, yeah, spawns are going to be flipping, so if I challenge these two people, they're going to be the only ones on this side of the map. I have no idea what the heck that guy's doing. Alright, type 25 in hand now. Didn't get too many kills with the advanced UAV, but I'm still alive. Is that a sniper eyeball on me? UAV. What's this guy doing? Oh my god. I have the kinetic, I don't think I need to pop it. Nice. Okay, if we get a kinetic here, we can get to another advanced. I think there is a guy actually sitting on that crate staring at me. I want to fully rotate up top. I just don't want to get hit by that freaking sniper. Oh my god. I need that guy's ammo. And my teammate grabbed his gun. Dude. I'm a second off this kinetic. Pop it. Give me the gun. Advanced. I got this player one hit right over here. Oh, why? Where's the nuke, dude? I'm getting so close. Oh, my God. I have 12 shots again, dude. We got the nuke, bro. This was almost the biggest choke of all time. Bro, my chest is pounding. Not gonna lie. I don't know why I was so nervous about this. Let me call this bad boy in. Ah, we did it. I knew we could do it, man. I told you, we took a couple hours of a break. We come back. We knock it out first game off stream. Let's go, dude. Oh, my gosh. I just kept picking up guns, kept running out of ammo, and then everybody I had shot at, I just made one hit. Let's go, dude. And we get the win on a tied game with that. Hopefully. I don't actually know. Yeah, yeah. There's the win. Yeah, GG's. Woo. That was a good game. Okay, that'll do it here for today's Red Magic video as well as like the Kilo video. I know this last game was a little bit more focused on me just trying to get my nuke, but that was a fun one. You guys rarely see me get like super hyped to get a nuke, man. That was satisfying. This is my first day on the Red Magic in preparation for the event that's coming up. So I'm excited to see like what we can do on this thing once I like get a little more practice in me. To circle back to the Kilo though, definitely that buff made this thing ridiculous. On phone, on a device that I'm not super familiar with, I was able to beam players. Like the recoil is crazy easy now. And considering the fact that this weapon has so much power at range and just deals so much damage per hit, it's definitely, in my opinion, the best AR in the game. Type 25, definitely still a good close mid-range option for ARs, and then the M13 is definitely a solid all-around. But I just think the Kilo, for me personally, fits my playing style perfect. 
definitely my top AR of the season. But everyone, that is gonna go ahead and do it here for today's video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm like riding the high of the adrenaline of getting that nuke. Like I said, I don't normally get hyped, but that one was so satisfying because I spent two hours trying to get it. Solid device, can't wait for COD Mobile to further optimize it. And if you guys are interested in learning more about the Red Magic 7, we will have a link in the description. I'd imagine that you can click on and just check out more information about that, check out the pricing for it. Typically the Red Magic phones are super affordable in comparison to other gaming phones. So definitely, uh, you know, just look into a little bit if you're interested in looking into a new gaming phone. But guys, that will do it for myself. And I'll catch you all in the next one.